Welcome to the Honey Pot's Grave, the internet's premier internet comment commentary podcast. I'm Quinn. And this is the third time we're recording this. Because <laughs> we cannot fucking make a podcast. Technical difficulties. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, uh, this week we watched Zolar, which was a TV movie that was supposed to be was supposed to be like the premiere it was supposed to be the premiere for like a TV show the TV show never happened and we just have this movie rest uh, in peace can we get an f in chat for the fucking zolar tv show so movie opens up we got some kids and they're snowboarding i guess we don't mm-hmm. know who these children are um, it's like 5 whole minutes of just snowboarding Yes, and then there's a guy in a wingsuit just gliding around in this snowboard mountain or whatever, and he's shooting balls of energy at these children. Uh, no explanation. And then eventually, wing wingman decides to land decides to land on a uh, snowmobile. Yes, that's just like out in the open on the mountain for no particular reason. Yeah. It's just in sort the of there. In the background of this, we see this blue dot, this blue speck, and it starts getting closer. And it's it's oh, Zolar. <laughs> the titular Zolar. And he grabs this man and says, Hola! And then the man falls Kinda over Kind of like at the, the start of the episode. Kind of like at the start of the fucking episode! Ah. Yes. That was, that was why we said that. Fucking funny, bro. So then... We? The guy, you said it. What well, was your idea, bastard? Maybe, but I didn't fucking say it. So then, the guy on the snowboard falls over, and his hand turns gross and nasty looking, and whoa, he's like, gross and nasty looking, I guess. He's an alien. Spooky. And then... And then, there's like... Two other main character children at the side who are like trying to shoot a gun at him, but failing miserably. Yes. And then it takes a while. They finally fucking do it and after it like an entire minute of fucking fumbling with the Mickey gun. And, and gun the two skateboarding like... children from earlier, uh, like accidentally uh, like sort of land near the vicinity of the gun, and like on top of the guy's corpse, which is for some reason an ice cube. Yes. Question mark. So now this guy in the wingsuit was trapped in an ice cube. Wow. And, and the fucking and then, evil uh, children are just like really racist against this alien. Yeah. And then we're at like uh, some sort of skating competition thing. Yeah, apparently that was just like a flash forward. It had nothing to do with like the rest of the movie. It's just here. Yeah. For now. So then we get introduced to the main characters. Uh, so there's a there's pink five hair. of them. Yeah, there's the pink hair girl who kind of looks like the girl from Lazy Town was a uh, Scott Pilgrim character. Yes. Uh, you have the uh, some kid who does quote, gadgets quote. and he does gizmos. Wow, and he's the smartman. He uh, invents a fucking... I think, like, like, the best part of this character. Yes. He makes a skateboard that's sort of like roller skates, but made out of skateboard parts. So it sort of, like, splits, like, in in two. And then you have, like, two little roller skate bits. And then he immediately just, like, fucking pile drives his nuts onto, like, one of a a, a fucking grind rail. It's very epic. And then we get uh, another child who does a skate trick and he falls over and he screams because he did the skate trick he wrong. He fucking dies. And he, he dies. Oh. Then there's another girl. Uh, that's, there's another girl. We don't really know. I don't know. <laughs> there's the another girl. Has. That's about it. That's that's all the character is. Yeah. There's not much character. This may surprise you, but the characters in this aren't very good. Yeah. Uh, and then there's another child who's just like a normal white boy man child who's also the narrator, I think. 
supposedly. Maybe. Anyways, they all like gather up into like a group huddle and they they're talking and hanging out with this skate thing that's going on. Yeah, so like they already Jason did all their skate Ellis tricks and shows up. I don't know who Jason Ellis is. I think he's like some sort of. He's supposedly guy. very famous because like they make a really big deal about who he is yeah. and like people are like screaming over his presence like, oh my god, please find Jason my everything. Jason Ellis. Can I get your autograph? So there's Shit like that. Yeah, you know. I don't know who Jason Ellis is. Um, neither of us know. He who has a broken is. arm, too, for yeah, some fucking reason. his arm is broken for some reason. Anyways, He's too hardcore of a fucking skater. He just fucking broke it. I guess Jason Ellis saw them do their shitty skate tricks, and he's like, Dang, you guys have potential. I have a friend who's going to skate coach you. And he, d- he tells nice. them that. And they're like, oh, but you're not gonna d- do the coaching for us? He's like, no, <laughs> no my arm's friend. fucking broken, you dipshits. <laughs> so, the, the, these children show up at this friend's place, right? And he's mm-hmm. like, hi, I'm your skateboard. And it's basically just like a really, really shitty camper van. Yeah, it's like a, yeah. It's he bad. lives in a van, I guess. Epic bro. It's too fucking mood. So... He tells them his rules, which are like, I don't, I don't remember what his rules were. He has very specific rules about like honor and shit, and like not yeah. being terrible at skating. And one but of those rules fuck was no, I didn't write any of them down. One of we weren't getting quiz on this later, so it's not in the notes. One of those rules were that. Also, my son is going to join your skating crew. I guess that's one of my rules. And he introduces his son. Who is Zolar? And he's blue and he's a freak and he has a big ugly fucking nose and a red ponytail and like fish fins on his face and he's ugly. Like, imagine Undyne Undertale, but not pretty. Ugly as fuck. Disgusting. He's a freak. I hate him. Anyways, the kid who screamed earlier is like. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to skate. I'm gonna be racist, and I'm just gonna give up. I don't want to do this. Bye. Fuck this alien freak. Yeah, he. And the best part is, he doesn't come back until like oh, the end yeah, of the movie. Oh yeah, he does movie. not come back. Like, he doesn't show up again. Really? I thought I like saw him in the background. Well, guess I'm stupid. Uh, so. So yeah, he just never shows up ever again. Yeah. They introduce him like he's gonna be like really important, and then he just never fucking shows up. He leaves. He gives, he's he does a racism and he leaves. That's his whole point. Of he's story. like Michael at my fucking D and D group ups. Like what the fuck, Michael? You never show up. I'm gonna punch you. Give me two hundred dollars. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Anyways, thanks. I don't have any friends named Michael. I made him up for that one specific joke. I'm a fucking fraud. Holy shit! Looking for new co-hosts. <laughs> so the remaining children are like yeah okay whatever we'll skate with these blue fucking freak and then they go into the skate the skate studio I guess and they they start skating around and they're mm-hmm. having a fun time skating and one of the kids yeah. calls him a freak like to, like his, to his face, face. directly and he's, nobody gives a shit so they're skating around and they're having a good time and stuff. And then the skate trainer man, Zolar's dad, uh, shows like, up. Like, everyone like, stop having fun immediately. Yeah, he shows up and he's like, you guys are not training, you are just having a good time. And then he's like, you're going to clean my car, actually. That's not what they do. Yeah, that, make, that makes fucking sense. So he makes it Hey, you know what would make you really fucking good at skateboarding? Manual labor. Yeah, and then they clean his car, and wow, they've all grown closer together as friends. Because they wow. cleaned this guy's car. Wow. So. They did it. <laughs> it builds character. <laughs> so then the guy's like, okay, now you can actually skateboard like you were supposed to be doing this whole fucking time. And then, while they're doing that, there's a guy in the background with 
in a suit and he has like a telescope and he's spying on them and he's like ooh, ooh, ooh ha ha I must I must report to my master and he does and his master is like this ugly ass motherfucker who looks like Buzzwool from Pokemon. He looks like if Doctor Lobato from Psycho Knots met a face hugger with like an erection for a nose. It's yeah, terrible. You this, should fucking look it up. He's got this ugly... He's got, like, a red, ugly face, and he's got this big nose. It's ugly. He's stupid. Yeah. So... And, like, his brain that, is poking out from behind his skull. It's real nasty. After that, we get to see... Uh, we get to see... Uh, so there, we get to the sea, and we just fucking drown. We go... We throw ourselves into the sea. <laughs> Fucking nice. Epic Anyways. drowning moment. So, we get to see, like, all these kids just hanging out in the guy's car. His bus mm -hmm. thing or whatever. And then It's a lazy Sunday. Zolar's dad is like, My son seems nervous or something. He's like, everyone get out of my fucking house. <laughs> and he pulls out a very, very clearly, obviously photoshopped picture of Zolar doing, like, a skate trick, I guess. Mm-hmm. He's, like, he's fucking like, grinding on a cliff. Yeah, it's... And it doesn't even look that good, honestly. It looks... It's so fake-looking. It's like they did a normal picture of a normal human being, and then they just, like, fucking stuck Zolar's face onto it with, like, tic tacs and glue. Yeah. So Did I just say fucking tic tacs and glue? I meant thumbtacks and glue. You fucking did say tic epic words. Epic word moments. <laughs> so he shows him his photo and he's like, Remember that time you did a sweet epic skateboard trick? And he's like, Yeah, and he's like, You're gonna do great at this skate competition that we're just he hearing about right fucking now. Mm hmm We're hearing about Well it to be fair, they were training, I guess. They were training, but, like, I thought they were just training to be better at skating. I didn't know there was a competition until this fucking second. Well, then you didn't train enough, fucker. So now we're at the skate competition, I guess, and... They do... The other kids do some skate tricks, and then Zolar starts doing some skate tricks, and he fucks it up and falls over like a fucking idiot baby. Fucking mood. And then, okay, so then, like, a blue orb appears at the skate competition and zaps the crowd, and they just, like, it freezes them in time or something, but it's just, like, they're standing still poorly, and you can see them moving around. Yeah, like, one guy blinks. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible acting. I hope, then... I hope we got fired for that fucking blunder. God. And then, four completely identical alien people show up and start chasing Zolar on a skateboard. Now he's doing good at skateboards. So he's skateboarding yeah, and these he's... alien guys are chasing him on the skateboard. And then Zolar starts like glowing blue and just floating around on his skateboard. And <laughs> he rams himself into the aliens, I guess, and defeats them. And then he spins around really fast and passes out. Uh, that just sounds like a uh, good old Thursday night for me. Yeah. Yeah, that just happens every week. Every time I take out the trash, I just start floating in the air while four people chase me and then they die. So then another alien shows up out of the portal. And the other four aliens also get up and they're like, oh, we're okay, actually. And they start shooting Zolar with lasers. I thought you died. Yeah, but I got better. They start shooting, shooting at Zolar with lasers, I guess. For, like, no reason. I mean, there's probably a reason, but it, why not? we don't know who these people are. So they, yeah. they start shooting him with lasers, and Zolar's like, Hur. and he just, like, starts spinning his arms around really fast. And that makes like an energy shield or something, and that blocks yeah. the the lasers. And he's running around, and I don't know what the mm -hmm. fuck is happening in this scene at all. 
Yeah, I feel like they just told the actor to go wild, and then he just fucking did that. And they were like, yeah, we can put some special effects over this and make it look somewhat good. So, the four, the, the, the other four kids are, like, reasonably confused and want some answers. Uh, so, and now then... we're at a trash fire. The, the, the main characters have gar have gotten, like, a can, and it's on fire, and they're just gathered around it, and the camera is spinning around behind them, like, focused mm -hmm. on the trash fire, and everyone's talking, and the Zolar's dad guy reveals... Reveals... I'm pretty sure his name is, like, Jane or something. I don't know anyone's name in this movie, except for Zolar. <laughs> Valid. No, there's another guy who has a name that I know, because they say it like 14 million times. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways. Uh, it is revealed at this point. Quote, unquote, reveals that Zolar's not a human being, actually. Zolar's an alien. Wow, spooky. Holy shit. You're fucking... No really? one could have guessed this from the blue fucking Avatar skin. Yeah. Actually, okay, way back when they, like, first met Zolar, and that f that racist kid was like, I don't want to skate with this freak, uh, the main, the main character, I guess, the narrator boy, is like, nah, people have blue skin sometimes, it's like that thing in Kentucky where they got blue skin, and he's like, what the fuck are you talking about, I'm racist, bye. <laughs> So, like, they thought Zolar was a human this whole time, I think. Cool. They're just fucking stupid like, as He was fuck. trying to do a Sonic cosplay, but he fucked up immensely, and he just couldn't get back to normal. He used Sharpie. They thought Zolar was a human this whole time. They just thought he was a freak little dude. And it's they're so surprised that he's an alien. Oh, then, so, <sighs> so they're talking about how Zolar's an alien, and the girl, who isn't the pink girl, says that Zolar isn't a person to his face. So, so far, she's called him a freak and not a person. Well, I mean, kind of isn't, he's an alien man. Aliens are people too, you fucking racist! <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not people, but they do have rights. No, they're people! It's like saying a dog is a people. Like, it's entirely different. Like, yeah, it has no, it two isn't. legs and can scream at you, but it doesn't make it a people. Aliens are it not dogs. It doesn't have, like, the fucking... I know, but it's Aliens like... I had to pick some form of... <laughs> I had to pick some form of animal that wasn't a human. Aliens are sapient. <laughs> They're self-aware. They're fucking people. Dogs are aware of things, too. Like, if I put my hand up in front of my dog, he'll They're high not self-aware. Cool. They don't know sure that they exist. What he's doing. <laughs> dogs don't know they exist, you idiot. That's what Go makes us... That's way. what separates us from them. Dogs don't think anything is real, because they're the true people. Anyways, aliens are people, you piece of shit, racist motherfucker. <laughs> Looking for new co-hosts, I'm too racism. So. Now they're going on a road trip to Mike Metzger's house. I don't know who Mike Metzger is, I guess he's also a skater guy? <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, but like, I don't think they, I don't know how to word this, but something feels off. So, Like, I don't feel like Mike Metzger is a real person on Earth right now. Well, maybe he's dead, idiot. Fuck. Well, no, because then he'd be in the Earth, because he's a fucking grave. Yeah, then he wouldn't be on the Earth, would he, dumb fuck? He'd still be within near vicinity to the Earth. I'm pretty sure that counts. Anyways, they're going to Mike Metzger's house for answers. 
And while they're going there, we see the Gizmo Gadgets boy, and he has a blue stain on his shirt. And, well... I'm just gonna fucking assume that that is a Zolar piss. Some sort of Zolar fluids are on this boy for <laughs> some reason. And on the way there, they look at like a scrapbook of even more, more poorly photoshopped, photoshopped Zolar pictures. photos. <laughs> and it's really <laughs> like, bad. There's one picture where it's just like some kid on a tricycle floating three feet in the air, and then they just fucking put Zolar's face on it again. Yeah. Like, his head is a normal human being-sized head when he's, like, two years old. And it's, like, really discomforting. He looks like fucking Isaac, Binding of Isaac. So, they get to Mike... Ah! They get to Mike Metzger's That's his full name. His name is Mike... Ah! They get to Mike Metzger's house, and... Mike Metzger and Zolar start, like, shaking hands and, like, hugging and stuff. And the normal protagonist narrator white boy man is like, Hmm, I'm suspicious of this guy. I think he's an alien. Which is a wild conclusion to draw. But he's right. Mike, he's like, yeah, hey, like... I feel like you might be an alien. Mike Metzger's like, ha ha ha. <laughs> That's so funny, cause I am. And then he s jump scares the. Jump and then he just fucking jump scares the audience. With like it's real spooky. An alien he just, like, head in his mouth, like a xenomorph. Yeah, it's really spooky. Like, oh, watch out, guys! He's gonna 3D out of the screen and kill you. Holy shit! So they go down into Mike Metzger's basement, which is full of alien stuff, but it just looks like some sort of art pieces. Uh. Yeah, so it's like stained my... art. Yeah. So they're in Mike Metzger's basement, and he starts dropping, like, so much exposition. He's like, Zolars is the last of his species, and he produces this energy called Surus, and it can pop popcorn without a microwave. And, oh, Whoa. all extreme sports. And also, it can destroy an entire fucking planet. But I'm all only going to tell you about the popcorn, because that's funny hee-hee-hoo joke. All extreme sports are actually a form of alien rituals. And Zolar's parents are dead. And uh, I'm going to give all of these children some sort of nickname. And hi, I'm Mike Metzger. Epic. So, <laughs> Thank you, Mike Metzger, for my life. <laughs> so they go home to reflect on all this exposition. And the blue head alien guy from the skate competition earlier shows up at Mike's house, and then he runs downstairs into his basement because he's chasing Mike and he's trying to get him. Uh, but uh, eventually, Mike, Mike Metzger, Metzger does evades. get turned into an ice cube, kind of like yes. at the start of the movie, uh, well, with the wingsuit movie. guy. Yes. And uh, we never actually see him get out of the ice cube, so we just have to yeah. presume that he's dead forever. So Mike like, Metzger no going into back his basement. He's turned into an ice cube. Yes. So Mike Metzger runs into his basement for safety, but there's another alien down there. Ah! And he turns Mike Metzger ah! into an ice cube, and he never, he never gets out of the ice cube. He just fucking dies forever. So, That's why he's six feet under. The spiky alien who turned Mike Metzger into an ice cube and the blue head alien guy start arguing, and they're like, "We're aliens. We have a plan." Uh. And then they create a plan to get yeah. Zolar. We have a loveless marriage. Yeah. So Zolar is now in a, in a deep, deep depression because he just learned that his parents are dead. And, like, bro, you are an orphan. <laughs> bro, you kind of already fucking knew this since A, you're an alien, yes. and B, your dad is very obviously a human. Yeah. Like, you've already lost, like, both of your parents for, like, what is it, 14 years? Like, I think you're fine, bro. You think Zolar would have had some time to, like, I don't know, come to grips with this. Yeah, true. They just sort of dribble this shit in in the like, middle of the movie for, like, sadness points. Is this the first much. time he's learned that his parents are dead? He knew he was an alien, I know that. Did they not tell him he was an alien? Did he think he was human this <laughs> whole time? 
I don't know, Chief, but something about this, like, doesn't follow it up. Doesn't, like, this, fit. This, uh, isn't really the best written movie. Yeah, no, this movie is written about as well as, uh, a doctor's note. So, Zolar is in this deep depression, and then his parents, his parents show up. Mm-hmm. His very real, very obviously not a fake trap parents are very parents real now, up. and very and alive, like, Zolar, and very much out of house right to... now. Like, hey, Zolar, we're your parents. We're here to pick you up from the international ball game. Uh, uh, we're gonna go home uh, to our home planet. Bang. And then the normal protagonist, white boy, and then he's like, guy's like, uh, didn't your planet get destroyed? <laughs> Epic fail, feminist! <laughs> Uh, actually, we made a second planet with Blackjack and Hookers, so, uh, we good now, actually. And this guy is like... And Zolar just fucking believes them, Zolar like a complete is tool. brain dead, and he's like, oh, sounds legit. But, uh, the normal narrator... There's no man, way this could go wrong, no, lol. Normal guy is like, <laughs> something's up. So he convinces <laughs> the rest of the... He convinces the rest of the... Uh, the gang, who none of them have, like, any suspicions toward this at all. They have, like, a heartfelt reunion, and they're like, yeah, this all seems legit. There's only one guy who thinks mm -hmm. anything is up at all, and it's the protagonist normal person boy. Also, Zolar goes in for a hug and fucking tases both of them with his weird nasty little hands. Yeah. Which, uh, not suspicious. That just so usually happens. He Before rubbed his leave. fucking nasty feet on the carpet while he was wearing socks, and he just fucking zapped him. So, you know the one. Before you know the thing. Zolar leaves with his parents, uh, the Gizmo they get and like Gadget a photo. So takes a photo, and the parents are like, oh, "Don't, like... don't do it, don't do it, please." Please don't take any photos. Just, everyone remains unsuspicious. They're like, "Hmm, yeah, seems about right." So. The, the narrator guy is like, guys, something's up. And they're like, oh, yeah! yeah! You're right! <laughs> then... Like, they couldn't <laughs> notice it on their own, but as soon as someone says something, they're just like, yes! So, epic writing. So, this fucking the movie gang hurts. is like, we gotta get Zolar back. And they're like, oh, I know what we'll we do. Gotta we'll go to get an Zolar back. We'll go to... I know what we'll do. We'll go to an abandoned we'll mine. To... Yep. So... And, uh... There's a bit... While they're, like, planning to go into the mine, where they're in, like, the car base thing, whatever, home. And they're like, alright, guys, you ever heard of a fucking, uh... Area 51? Yeah, that's because it's Why the 50th time. Why do you think it's the 51th time? <laughs> it's the 51st <laughs> time there's so what happened aliens. to 50? It's named Area 51 because that's the 51st time we see aliens. Yep, that's that makes sense. So that's, that's, how, uh, that's how the government handles that, I guess. Yep. So... So... Yeah, so they go to an abandoned mine, and mm -hmm. it's they, very cool. it's the protagonist guy and the Gizmo Gadgets kid and the pink hair girl go into the mine, and then Zolar's dad and the other girl don't, for some reason. I don't know why they don't go in there. They just do not. It's because they have so, to fucking babysit the car. They go into the abandoned mine, and they walk around for a while, and the Gizmo Gadgets guy is like, This mine's unexplored! And then he pulls out a complete map of the mine. Yeah, he does say that this it's uncharted, unexplored, and then uncharted he just, like, mine. fucking picks up a map. So... Okay, epic contradictions. Uh, fucking epic. So they reach a point where there's just, like, this big minecart rail... And that's the only way down. So, skate the 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 main guy, the protagonist narrator person is like, okay, I'm gonna s snowboard down this, and he does, and it, 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 like, no, don't do it, it's too dangerous, and it's like, and then he does it anyway. How is it too dangerous? It's 
like, they agonize over this for like a minute or so, and he's like, "There's like no clear danger." In fact, you probably could have just walked down it. It's not like super steep or anything. It's just like yeah, a ramp. Just fucking climb on down. So they he does that, and he reaches this room with like big circles on the floor, and he runs into it. And the circles start erupting into flames! Okay! I think it's, like, gunpowder. Yeah. And, like, the sparks from him, like, grinding the rail, like, caught well, onto the no, gunpowder, and the... suddenly everything's on no. fucking fire. Because the rail Maybe. is, like, multiple feet away. 50 feet away. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there's not was. really any explanation, an explanation for, for the ignite. Shit? For why it, like, ignited, and, like, there was flames of fire. <laughs> it just happens. It's because he's too hot. Hot damn. So, he gets into the center of one of these flame circle things, and there's a box. And there's a tiny area little box, like a big old jewelry box. Labeled Area Smaller than a bread 52. Box. <laughs> <laughs> so he opens this box, and there's just a bunch of alien gizmos in it. So, they regroup in the van... And he's like, and they're like testing out the machinery. And one and of these sure, machines, like, one of it is, one of them is the gun from the start of the movie. The guy into a cube. And then the other one is uh, some like fucking science class goggles. He has like lab safety goggles, but they're glowing blue at the lenses. Yeah, they painted them blue. They painted them fluorescent blue, and then they put some like crappy bullshit on it. Yeah. So one of the guys puts the goggles on to the face and. They look at the photo of Zola screams. with his parents. <laughs> they, they look at the photo and they're like, ah! like so, really quickly. Apparently what these goggles do is they remove alien cloaking devices you can see with like true eyes or whatever, right? So they look at oh, the photo. It's the fucking Lens of Truth from Legend of Zelda. So they look at that photo uh, and... And uh, it turns out his parents aren't real. What the fuck? Whoa, spooky. Yeah. Complete plot twist. So that's no how photos coming. work. You know? That's how photos work. You know that ink on paper? Yeah, that's not real. It's yeah. a fucking ruse. It's a fucking disguise. Wow. So, those his parents are those two aliens from earlier. The spiky guy and the blue head guy, right? Mm-hmm. So, the children are like, okay, let's go find... Let's go, let's go, uh, find the, the Zolar. We gotta find the we Zolar. We gotta get Zolar back. We gotta get Zolar back. So, Why? They go and they go to the alien spaceship and they've disguised their spaceship as like some sort of building in a park or whatever. Um, yeah, it's like one of those community buildings. And it's just like this big... Like they just fucking go into. This big. But then no one goes into it because aliens. Ugh. Yeah, it's, well, they don't see the spaceship. They see, like, a big building because they disguised it. Yeah, I know, but, like, I feel like someone would probably, like, stumble on in there at some point. Yeah. Yeah, there's no reason like, why maybe. nobody went into the building. <laughs> in fact, they go up to the spaceship... <laughs> They go up to the Looking spaceship and they just like right walk right for this into the front movie. fucking door. Like it's not locked or anything. Yeah, they just walk on up. They just walk in. So like epic security on your spaceship. Anyways, we cut to the inside of the spaceship building thing. And, and uh, they have this big old device and they put Zolar in it and they're like trying to suck out his energies so that they can like Use it to rule the universe or whatever. Yeah. And for, so the way that for some this... fucking reason, they have to suck it out through his feet. Yes, they have to touch Wait, feet and uh... suck Zolar's energy out through his through feet to feet contact. Anyways, we're in the big old building. Yes. And uh, they suck in the feet. They and then, the like energy out halfway the through the suckage, the like the parents who are definitely real parents. Uh, like, go into a separate room to argue and with each other because their marriage is failing, and, like, they're terrible. Mm -hmm. And they're like, hey, how come you get to suck the feet juice? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. 
<laughs> this movie the... is fucking terrible. Everyone watch it or else. Yeah, it's on YouTube. So Most of the movies we watch are on YouTube now for some fucking reason. So... The spiky alien guy gets all of Zolar's energies, I guess. And... Mm -hmm. yeah. It took like 30 fucking minutes, but they cut it all out, yeah. so like, it's good. So the children... Like, they're not that evil. They're not gonna have a fucking 30-minute foot suck montage. <laughs> so, they get into... The, the children get into the alien spaceship or whatever, and the other girl's like, okay, I'm gonna, um, attack you with my Barbie dolls. Mm -hmm. uh, and, so... uh, what she does is she ties two of them together with a hair. literal chain that she has for no fucking reason, and, uses and uh, she just uses them as nunchuck. And they speed up the footage of her swinging around the Barbie nunchuck, and it looks like shit. Yeah, to make her look better. But it uh, makes it look worse. <laughs> the Barbie plan doesn't work. She gets defeated. Surprisingly. And then... She fucking um, dies. So then they, like... Two of the girls have roller skates on, and they, like, sit down ass to ass with their feet up in the air. And they mm -hmm. trip the blue-head alien guy so that his feet are on top of the wheels of the roller skates. So that he's like sort of running treadmill style on the roller skates. So these so they're so they're supporting the weight of this man jumping up and down on top of their legs somehow. Mm -hmm. Keeping their legs perfect. And for some reason he just still. sort of sits there. Like he's just cool sitting there like a fucking yeah, he just like, doo villain. It's very <laughs> stupid. So he stumbles around on top of there for a while, and then he falls over, and they capture him and bring him back. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, Spiky Guy does detonate the spaceship. Mm -hmm. And they escape, and they kidnap the blue-head alien guy, and bring him to the van, and lock him in the toilet room as torture. Mm -hmm. They sure fucking do. Yes. Also, uh, he literally never takes his arms out from behind his back. They're not yeah. tied or anything. He just fucking does it involuntarily. Yeah, which, I thought uh, they mood. were tied, but I guess he just keeps them behind his back at all times, like some sort of freak. Okay, rude. <laughs> Anyways. This man has been fucking kidding me, and I haven't even like been knowing it until I watched this movie that he stars in. What the fuck? So, they interrogate him, and he's like, okay, here's, this, here's the deal. The, here's the exposition. The other guy is called Jammer, and he's going to use all that Zolar energy that he stole to detonate the town, because he double-crossed our leader, and he doesn't want the leader to know, so he's got to destroy all the evidence, which includes us, and the town, and Zolar, and everything, in the fucking planet. So he's gonna destroy this town, and he, he's gonna use a death ray, and he, the higher up the death ray is, the more damage it does, so he's gonna park it on top of the mountain. And that's, and that's where we go. We go to the mountain. Yep. And then we cut back to the start of the movie with the yeah. snowboarding sequence. We get the... Except this time, this the only fucking difference is that they don't fumble around with a gun for a whole two minutes. Yeah. So, Zolar does... He, like, is like, Ah, they stole all my Zolar energy. Huh, I'll just oh, get no. it back. And he does. <laughs> he just fucking gets it back. Like, no effort involved. Yeah. He just gets it. So... And then, uh... They go to the mountain, and we, we already told you what happens. Just listen to the yeah. beginning of the podcast again. We already told you what yeah. happens. Just listen to that bit. Okay. So, all that happens... Okay, are you back? Okay, okay. Uh, then, fuck if I know, they just somehow get over to the guy, and they're like, get alrighty, the guys, we gotta get a plan. Also, they're in a snowbank, which is, like, no more than, like, four feet away from this guy, and they're talking really fucking loudly. Yeah. Like... So... The Buzzwool alien guy shows up. And he's like, 
hey, you betrayed me, you motherfucker. And he's like, why are your hands behind your back, idiot? He's, I know it's you, you fucking bluehead bastard. I'm gonna kill you now, so he does. Rest and piss. So. No doubles. Then they get the ice cube gun out and they shoot it at Jammer. And he's like, ha ha ha, I got all the Zolar energy. You can't get me. So oh, wow. he's invulnerable. This, so apparently the only thing that can defeat the Zolar energy is Zolar energy, which means the only person because can defeat it is just Zolar. looks like the fucking dragon type in Pokemon for some yep. reason. Zolar's a dragon type. <laughs> Quick, someone get a fucking Jigglypuff so we can kill this man. So Zolar sacrifices himself to stop Jammer. Mm -hmm. He dies. He definitely also, dies for also, real. <clears throat> also, I'm pretty sure that Jammer is a reference to roller derby, which is a sport that involves skating. Which, uh... How is that a reference fucking cool to roller reference. derby? Yeah, and I'm no, pretty how? sure the blue head alien. Because, like, it. there's... <clears throat> okay, so you got, like, the uh, defense team, which is, like, a big old wall. Those are called the blockers. Yeah. And the jammer is the person that has to navigate through, like, the complete wall of blockers. And they have to, like, go around the loop as many times as possible through the wall. So, like, what it's you're saying really is... It's really easy to, like... It's really easy in, to visualize, but it's really hard to make words about it. So, like... The I can't explain so, it So, like, all of the aliens... Their names are, like, extreme sports terms? I feel like maybe, yeah, but what the so fuck what is the fuck Zolar, is Zolar? A reference to? What the fuck, what is, the Zolar? fuck is a Zolar? What is a Zolar? <laughs> can, can we fucking... I'm gonna Google this right now. What the fuck is a Zolar? It just jumped over the fucking TV <laughs> movie! <laughs> okay... <laughs> this is fucking terrible, I hate this. There's no Zolar, it's, it's just the fucking name of the character. They were just like, alrighty, literally every single alien is a reference to extreme sports. Except Zolar. What the fuck do we name our main character? Oh, Zolar! Okay, sure, I guess. We couldn't think of anything better. So, so uh, also, since we never hear Bluehead Alien guy's name, I'm just gonna fucking assume that it's Blocker, because that would be... Complete the fucking roller derby trilogy of Jammer, Blocker, and Zolar. Yep. So. <laughs> the secret third team in roller derby. Back to Zolar. the plot. Back to the plot, I guess. Zolar's dead. Uh, sadly. Thank fuck. Zolar is fucking dead. End of movie. Roll credits. Fucking god. Zolar sacrifices himself and everyone cries about it. <laughs> And, then mm -hmm. Zolar... and with the last of his energy, he writes a big ol' Z in the sky for, like, a full m four milliseconds. Wow. And then, Zolar... wow. And then, then like, the fucking Zolar. The... Zolar's dad is like, he always wanted to write his name in the sky. <laughs> and then they turn around and Zolar is in the van and he's eating popcorn. Yep. He's just like, wow, you guys are really fucking sad. I'm gonna eat this popcorn now, bitch. Yay, Zolar's alive. Everyone and then everyone's like, Yay, Zolar's back! Yahoo! So, at this point, then movie end. So, before the credits, we get a little scene where the Buzzwall alien is like talking to Jam, and he's like, Bro, what the fuck happened? You were supposed to get Zolar for me. And he's like, Uh, the other guy, the blue head alien guy, did all the stuff that I did, actually. I'm framing him for my crimes. He's like, Oh, I see. And then, he's like, well, we're gonna need somebody to spy on Zolar, and he's like, <laughs> I have just the plan. And then he turns into the racist kid! Yeah, you know that kid that literally never shows up? It yeah! Was him all along! That was, that was the evil moon. All along. <laughs> and then we get the credits. The same as Zolar. And that's it. That's the end of Zolar, baby. We never ever see him ever again. He only gets his shitty movie, and also the secret team in Roller Derby that you only only unlock after you get all the platinum medals. Yep. There is Zolar merchandise. Why? There's Zolar toys. To be specific. Why? I don't know. Thanks for listening to The Honeypot's Grave. Uh, 
join the Discord. Tune in next time for my public execution. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Join the Discord, follow us on Tumblr and Twitter and DeviantArt and for Affinity and everything. Uh, Please give like, us all your money. Minecraft, go do, do, do the Patreon, links in the description, YouTube.com. Uh, thanks for listening to the Honeypot's Grave. See you next week, or... Two weeks from now. Who fucking knows? Yeah, we don't record these very often, do we? Remember when we used to record on Saturday every week?